Let's add some more power to the NLP object. In this video, you'll learn about Spacey's statistical models. Some of the most interesting things you can analyze are context-specific. For example, whether a word is a verb or whether a span of text is a person name. Statistical models enable Spacey to make predictions in context. This usually includes part of speech tags, syntactic dependencies and named entities. Models are trained on large datasets of labeled example texts. They can be updated with more examples to fine-tune their predictions, for example, to perform better on your specific data. Spacey provides a number of pre-trained model packages you can download. For example, the EN Core WebSM package is a small English model that supports all core capabilities and is trained on web text. The spacey.load method loads a model package by name and returns an NLP object. The package provides the binary weights that enable Spacey to make predictions. It also includes the vocabulary and meta information to tell Spacey which language class to use and how to configure the processing pipeline. Let's take a look at the model's predictions. In this example, we're using Spacey to predict part of speech tags, the word types in context. First, we load the small English model and receive an NLP object. Next, we're processing the text, she ate the pizza. For each token in the doc, we can print the text and the pos underscore attribute, the predicted part of speech tag. In Spacey, attributes that return strings usually end with an underscore. Attributes without the underscore return an ID. Here, the model correctly predicted aid as a verb and pizza as a noun. In addition to the part of speech tags, we can also predict how the words are related. For example, whether a word is the subject of the sentence or an object. The dep underscore attribute returns the predicted dependency label. The head attribute returns the syntactic head token. You can also think of it as the parent token this word is attached to. To describe syntactic dependencies, Spacey uses a standardized label scheme. Here's an example of some common labels. The pronoun she is a nominal subject attached to the verb, in this case, to aid. The noun pizza is a direct object attached to the verb aid. It is eaten by the subject, she. The determiner the, also known as an article, is attached to the noun pizza. Named entities are real world objects that are assigned a name. For example, a person, an organization, or a country. The doc.ends property lets you access the named entities predicted by the model. It returns an iterator of span objects, so we can print the entity text and the entity label using the label underscore attribute. In this case, the model is correctly predicting Apple as an organization, UK as a geopolitical entity, and $1 billion as money. A quick tip. To get definitions for the most common tags and labels, you can use the spacey.explain helper function. For example, GPE for geopolitical entity isn't exactly intuitive, but spacey.explain can tell you that it refers to countries, cities, and states. The same works for part of speech tags and dependency labels. Now it's your turn. Let's take a look at Spacey's statistical model. 